Hello out there, this is Draconil, and welcome back to the RX Craft server. We are back here in the base, still doing more work. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot here, at least for a little while. Me and Am are still considering when we're going to end up moving out to uh, a more permanent location. We have one in mind. But, yeah, not getting there yet. Whereas we're just using this place, getting things going, set up, and made a few changes around here. So, clunk. Aha! Added a little, uh, I guess, storage area right here. Clink. So, we, get all, we had all these random mismatches of ow, chess. Keep forgetting about those things. And it was getting kind of uh, interesting in here. So, I reorganized and made it a, at least a little more manageable. So you have like, you know, wood, food, uh, that one's empty, random plants, empty, effectively uh, stone you'd use for uh, appearance, maybe a few other little things. This one is, you know, general resources. Uh, this one is my next project, you can see it right there. Mod name, Big Reactors. Yep, that's what we're doing. Uh, over here we got, you know, other random blocks, items, clay and such, some tools. Uh, this one is just random junk, I haven't figured out where else to put. Around on this side also has been cleaned up, so this box is our, like, you know, uh, smelting supplies and such, you know, what do you see here? And so we have, like, why is that over here? Um, you know, ore berries, uh, probably some nuggets, any dust that we don't have break down immediately, so on and so forth. And then this is our unsmelted ore. And for the time being, these guys. So yeah, and then Am, oh yeah, Am has added this guy, a uh, cold coke oven from the immersive engineering. He's been having fun looking at how that stuff works. Pass this in over here. We're up to 35. Those guys there. Ooh, even more. Excellent. Oh yeah, I think we're going to be about ready for that. So, we've been working on all that, as I say, I got that down here, and these stairs are where we're going to go next. Uh, we've got a farm area, you know, a little bit more dug out here. It's, what you see is what we've got at this time, just because we haven't got the power for this. That's what the big reactor is going to be primarily for. And then, this all changes. But, I've already dug out this area down here. So we now have an area where we're going to stick a big reactor. And it's going to go, like, right here in the center. So the center point right here, directly above me, is the farming station. So I can take a power conduit directly off of that and straight up into the farming station. So, makes it nice and easy. I'll still have to dig that thing out. We've been making a few trips out to the nether, but we haven't quite gone for a little bit. Um, other changes. Oh, yes. Uh, Am has got us a basic capacitor. Looks like I have to stick another block in here. Uh, something interesting we learned. A block of coal burns for more power than nine coal alone. Very interesting, that. So if you're using the Ender, Ender, uh, Ender AO Sterling Generator, use coal blocks. They're more efficient. Uh, down here we have our ore berries. So there's tin. That I think he's got the idea of having both sides as tin. Down here we have aluminum. Uh, this one is, I think, iron. Yeah. Oh, is there anything else he put down here? What's this? What is this? A vein where we got coal? I ain't going outside. If I haven't shown you yet, I'm going to run down here to the basement. This is our mine. Oh. We have oil. So probably at some point for fun, I'll probably build a uh, refinery. Did that in RX1. But I had fun doing that. So, yeah. Uh, this is our little mine area. Haven't really used a whole lot. Am's gone down quite a bit that way. And that's where we found our lava that we've been using so far for the uh, 
uh, smeltery. Words. Oi. I guess I should harvest these guys. We've got our cash for cobble, cash for in the berries, essence berries. And on this server, just because of all the stuff we've got in this mod pack, um, it's a little dangerous outside. I'm killing it. I want the hat. I want the hat. Come to me. Oh yes, forgot to mention, got a new sword. We had enough resources for me to make an Ender Sword. So this is from Ender.io. Basically just a sword, but it's got a few other goodies with it. So for example, if you've never seen the Ender, uh, you can stick a couple items in it and are you hostile I'm gonna go with yes we're running we're running maybe not I don't know don't trust it inside we go yeah, so there's a lot of stuff out there that'll kill us, like werewolves and things. Ugh. We get killed a lot out there. We also have werewolves in the nether. And, you know, hellhounds and all this other good stuff that I think I had last episode. Ugh. I haven't actually fully caught up on everything I've been doing so far, just because I actually haven't finished editing, uh, well, just about anything. Um, I'm recording this before I've even gotten, uh, jeez. Um, episode one, edited. Pace, we're going. What can you say? Uh, where did I put the silicon? Where did I put silicon? No. Over here? Alright, I'll have to find that. Well, we're going to need a lot more of these uh, reactor casing blocks. I'm going to make this initially a 5x5, five five, which means I'm going to need 25 of these. I got 12. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to be the floor of this sucker. So, we're going to need to make some more of those. I don't want to bore you with making those, but yeah, that's going to be what I'm doing. So, just for anyone who's not seen this, um, you use these graphite bars, which are, you cook coal or charcoal to make them. And I mean, literally mean you cook them. So, I'm going to steal a couple of these. Two, three, four, five. Break these into coal. we got plenty of this stuff, so don't have to worry about it too much. I need, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, so it cooks, and I'll have graphite. So I'm going to get a lot of that, and then it's basically the blocks I'm looking for are uh, one of these in the center and surrounded by these guys. So that's what I'm going to work on for the moment, getting that up so I can get the initial frame of the big reactor ready. And then I can bring you guys back, and we can see if I can to work on that. Come here, luggage. Come on, come this way. Come this way, luggage. Your master is not here, so we need to give you some place to go. And stay out of my way. Come on. Come on, luggage. Come on, come and get it. You know you want to. Dang it, come on. Eh. Come on. Come and get it. A little bit further. Stay. So, I decided to take a short break and, uh, well, 
I guess it's a little bit longer than a short break. It's actually been a couple of days since the last little bit I recorded. Um, and I've been doing a lot of uh, resource gathering and decided to take a trip in here to the nether to see if I can find a fortress. And unless you noticed my uh, mini-map up there in the corner, I found one. Oh boy. Yeah, you can see the uh, entrance right down there. And Oh gosh. There's a wither skeleton right there too. Eh, plus, man, I need fire protection. Because, yeah. Should I? Should I? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. This is going to hurt for us to kill these two guys. There's no way I'm going to take on a wither skeleton plus these two. Okay. Here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through those two, get those three or four. Whee! Where is it? They're like right there. All I want is that guy right there. <laughs> hey! I don't have any arrows, do I? Ooh, I've got four. I've got. of arrows. I am out of arrows. Yep. This area's on fire. Ah, crap. went quiet there for a second. Um, kind of in panic. Oh yeah, I've got a kind of a, a little bit of a trip here. Oh yes. Amros is going to love that news. It's been a busy day if you can't tell here at the uh, <laughs> fortress. In the last little bit here I've gotten three wither skeletons. Plus six diamonds. Some gold. Some horse armor. Cobalt ore. Gotta love the cobalt ore. And there's a blaze like right on the other side. Got him. What? What? Run! Run! I'm alive. I'm down to five potatoes. Oh boy. And I'm out of arrows. Where is he? There he is. Um. Um. Yep. Come on. In death block. Okay. Stop lighting up my escape path. All right, I I think I think I can get out of here. We're gonna run for it. We're gonna run for it. We're running for it. Um, wrong way. Wrong way. Hip. Go go go. All right, I think I'm clear. I think I'm clear. Hello, flowers. By the way, if you didn't know, those things burn. Ow. Oh crap. Oh, by the way, there's a form of creeper that spawns in the uh, nether now, in this pack. And that's what that what boom was. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh. Alright, I'm going to try to get back to... 
Home. Go away, spider. How do I get back? I have successfully escaped the nether. Oh. Boy, I am completely out of food. But the uh, hull made up for it, I think. <sighs> Amaros is AFK and looks like our, air, our essence berries are ready to go. <laughs> We've got a whole cache of them up there right now. So we basically have as much experience as we could ever really need. I uh, think I'm going to have a little fun with this and just stick the Wither Skulls right here so that he'll be a little surprised when he comes back in. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get back to work on getting the reactor up and I'll see you in a few minutes. Alright, so as you can see around me, we've been a little busy. Um, yeah. And then I got this hole. I'm not even sure how much more I've actually said on this. I know I've been talking about where we've been going with the uh, big reactor. I've been adding a lot to that uh, work, getting myself more either Eulorium or Uranium ingots. Same thing. We've expanded our farm area here. The uh, We still don't have power for that farming station. Um, and then down here, I don't even know if I've actually really shown this. I think I just started building. So, here is the uh, first part of the big reactor. You can see how much I can shove in this thing, and then we're just going to pipe power from that thing straight up to the farming station. And then we're going to go from there after that. So, we're going to grab some more, there's a few things we've built here. Need that. Is that? Yes. Alright, let's just go see how far we can get with this. So, we're going to make this thing a three tall. That's where I've gotten this thing so far. So, this right here is the frame of it. Here's a spider. Oops. Uh. I need to switch items. I need to go up a little bit. So, right about... <laughs> if I haven't shown this thing, I've got a little backpack on me. Let's see if I can... Something that Am noticed is one of the mods we had. So, this gives us storage space. Very interesting storage space, as it were. So, I bring this thing up. I have on me... Uh, swap slots, I don't know how to use those yet. I have two storage tanks for liquids. So I've got water on the side here and don't have anything there yet. This space right here doubles as a crafting table. Quite useful. So, he pointed that out and it's like, hey, might as well, right? So... I need to swap my hammer back now. Uh, da, 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 hammer, hammer, hammer. Oh, I ran out. That's why. Okay. Let's get this in right there. Whoa. What the? Should I mention? I've been doing a few upgrades on my gear. My purple pants—they're the Ender IO dark leggings. I got dark boots and dark helm. So, night vision, speed, and jump three, which jump three acts as step assist. So, for example, going up and down like blocks like this, I don't have to jump any longer. I just walk right up them. Love it. It's. Something I've missed since the early days of RX Craft. 
we had it back in the original and never had it again since so yeah I, I've missed it a lot and playing vanilla how, is that how it works oh I need iron I need iron iron uh, let's go find the big reactor block because I'm lazy doink haha -ha. oh that's far more than I ever, ever need I think <laughs> Let's go get this thrown in. Um. Okay, so... Center. Go ahead and throw these blocks in the sides right there. Oh, actually, I'm going to need them on your tie. Crap. Alright, let's take them back out. Forgot I'm gonna need that space. Um let's get the glass in. So nine per side, nine times four thirty-six, I'm gonna need more. So if you've never seen a big reactor, this is a multi-block structure. So once it finishes, the appearance of this thing is going to change. Um, let's go ahead and throw the uh, control. Oh, where do I want to put that? Right there? Sure. We'll do that. We'll stick glass back there. I need more glass. Uh, glass. Glass and blocks. Oh, well, we definitely have glass. Mm, speed. Alright. Oh, right, he wants just glass. Um, 16 minus 2, 3, 13. I'm getting more glass. Alright, let me get some cooking up. And this is a complete big reactor. Well, structurally. <laughs> it's missing anything to actually, well, make it useful. But it's got the bare necessities. So, if you'll run the center, control piece. But that's about it. So to really make this thing useful, we actually have to, you know, add a couple things, like a power tap. So, we're going to go grab a power tap. I'll eventually be expanding this thing just a little bit with redstone. For now, we just need this. We're going to use the backpack just because I can. So, how did that thing work again? Nope. Yep. Okay. And there's a power tab. So this will allow us to get power out of this thing. And considering the fact that we're going to be taking the power... Prim at least so far, primarily out the go up out the top. Um, we're gonna t put the power tap right there. All right, I don't want any of the big reactor stuff popping into my inventory like that. I'll have to find how to turn that thing off. So, there's our tap. Next, we're going to need a way to uh, load the fuel. And I think I'm going to take that off of this. Should I take out the side over here? Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, so... Okay, now I need to get a... I don't know if I want to... See, access port, I think. I think that's what I want. Yeah. So, piston and chest. Yeah, give me a second. And there are the access ports. So, that one takes our fuel in. That one sends our fuel out. Now, I just need coolant. Now, I don't have any cryothium right now. 
So, we're going to use water. Um, we're going to see how one goes. And then figure it out from there. So, give me just a minute here while I actually get the uh, water in place. Because it will take me a, just at least a couple of minutes. And then we'll be able to get this up and running and get power going upstairs. All right, water's in place. Let's throw in some fuel. And this sucker should be active. There we have it. We have power. Again, this isn't doing a great amount because it's only got one fuel rod. But I think I might see about swapping it out so it has at least three. Probably will. At least will give us a bit more power, I believe, out of this thing. And I should be able to see about trying to uh, swap the water for cryothium. Uh, uh, what's it exactly called? Gelid cryothium. There you go. And Amros has already found a way to kind of mass produce the stuff very easily. So, yeah, doesn't take a whole lot. I can just follow what he's done and be set. Get that back. But that is really all we've got for this episode. Just get. I'm doing good at dropping my bucket. So, yep, big reactor is what we needed. I'm just going to pipe a power conduit straight up, which actually should put it right. Here, I believe. Yeah, there it is. That block right there, if I go up one more, is going to put me right below the farming station. There, there it is. So, all I need to do is go grab some power lines and run it up. Um, I need to make some. So I think I'll just go ahead and do that uh, between episodes, but the farmer station will be up and running in just a couple of minutes here. Uh, at least technically. The problem is, is we have all these extra farms, uh, you know, pieces going in here now with the uh, hemp that Am has thrown in so we can try out this uh, immersive engineering mod. Um, we have the sugar canes here, and those are all going to get blown away as soon as I turn the sucker on. Especially since I've got, you know, food coming. <laughs> so, that'll be a second thing I'll have to worry about. I'm probably just going to end up moving the secondaries, like the hemp and the cane, uh, down this way. Um, maybe start, like, right there and make another room. That way we're kind of, you know, almost flip-flopping between the farms, food farms, giant nether wart, uh, hemp and sugar cane. Actually, I don't know if the... I'm not sure what that thing does with sugar cane, or if it will. I'll have to look into how what options we actually have for farming sugar cane. Hmm. All right. Well, I do hope you all enjoyed the episode. We've been getting a lot of stuff done, and a lot, uh, rather rapidly, well, at least from your perspective, we've been actually spending a few days on it, just trying to get everything going, um, but a few nice things have happened, I don't actually remember if I mentioned this, if I didn't, actually I think I did, yes, 
Wither Skulls. I showed them in the... Right after we went to the Nether. Put them up there so Am could see them. We're gonna go kill Wither Boss at some point in time. Don't know when. But we're gonna get there. Um, outside of that... Throw that in there. This little guy right here uh, is from one of the other guys on the server. Also from the Omega server. Broham. He is joining us over here and this is uh, his base. He decided to add a, a portal from his base to our little uh, temporary over there. This thing is very close to us, just south of us. South? Yep. So that uh, meteorite there, there is the one I pointed out in a previous episode. So we're really close. The village is just like right over that way. So yeah, there you are. So there's where I'm at with Broham's base, our meteorite, the village, and we are set up right about, whoops, somewhere in this area right here is where I believe we uh, set up shop. Looks about right. No, wait. There's the sludge pool. We're right here. <laughs> I get lost every single time. But that is, I think, where I'm going to end. So, there goes Amaraz again, collecting our essence berries. But I hope you all enjoyed the episode. Uh, hit like and subscribe if you'd like to come along and see more. And I hope you see you in the next episode. For now, this is Dracano, signing off. See you later.